Hey everybody, how we doing today? Beautiful day here in the Florida Keys. Got a little bit of wind though coming out of the southeast. But that's okay, we're hiding out here in the back country. And today we're gonna do a little bit of meat hunting. We're gonna try to fill uh, the cooler with a couple of uh, nice mangrove snappers. And today our bait of choice is the pinfish. Our pinfish bait catching rig is uh, I took my old uh, Pen Conflict 4000, got the mono for uh, yellowtails on there, but now this is my new bait reel. Uh, I've got this old Shimano Stimula. These are these uh, rods people buy when they're down here for the week or the weekend and leave them at the boat dock, whatever, or throw them in the mangroves. I get them, fix them up, and then just use them for my bait rods. Uh, we're doing a little Carolina rig, got mono line, little quarter ounce uh, uh, egg sinker, swivel, maybe a foot of some uh, trout leader, and then a number 12 long shank hook for easy hook removal and then a little piece of cut squid. I've been uh, rumming the uh, remnants of a, my chum bag just to get them just kind of coagulated here down current from me so I don't have to cast and work for them. I just basically have to drop it out there and then they'll be on it like that. So we're just gonna wait for them to hit it. And we've got our beautiful, beautiful pinfish. Just like that. And we'll load up for a dozen or so. I've got the cast net, but sometimes this is just as fast. Plus they don't really get uh, beat up as much. So we'll load up on some pinfish and then get to some fishing. Now finding a good pinfish spot, uh, the key things that you're looking for is good turtle grass, nice healthy turtle grass because they like to hide in those and kind of swim around through there. And two is current. Current is probably the most important part because what that does, just like for all the fish, it brings food to them and that's where they're going to be. Now you can just go onto a flat uh, grass, got current on it, and you'll catch them a little out of time by just blind casting for them. Uh, you could use just a little cut shrimp, little squid you can use gulp little pieces of cut off gulp and just blind cast fan cast and slowly retrieve it back they like the movement but when i'm just quick and easy way of doing it just put your chum bag out give it about five minutes and they'll be lined up right behind you heck you could even throw the net if you want to but pretty easy bait and top quality bait all right it's taking it it's taking it Want them to eat it, eat it, eat it. Eat it, eat it. Oh, let it go. There we go. Get him out, get him out, get him out, get him out. Ugh. Get him out of there. Yeah, baby. That's the ones we're looking for. Need a net. Oh. Come on up. Yeah. yeah. Pinfish chunk, baby. Woo, look at this guy. How you doing, buddy? Let's get a quick measure on him without getting stabbed here. Thick boy. And we've got 18. Woo, nice. Pinch pinfish chunks for the win. Bam! Big old boys. Nice and healthy. Woo. I think this boy is going in the box. Uh, it won't fit in the box. Uh. Yeah, you'll fit in there. Bend in there. Bam! Something's got it. Get out of there. Get out of there. 
<laughs> oh man they are smart they'll go right for those trees another decent one Ugh. surf them up bam that's the way we do it Ugh. Up. Oh, now ah, you did it. You're just making a mess. You're just making a mess. <sighs> nice chunker. All right, what do we got here? We'll measure him out. And we've got uh, almost 15. Yeah, 15. I'm going 15 because I got it bent up. Bam. Nice. Another perfect sandwich snapper. Using them chunks. So you want to catch mangrove snappers using pinfish chunks, but you're just not sure how to do it. Well, I've got the solution for you. Jeff Designer created the new Pinfish Chunks meat hunting shirt. And in it, he's embedded a nice Pinfish Chunks template to help you to dissect those pinfish and make perfect mangrove snapper baits. Now, when you're ready to cut your perfect Pinfish Chunks for mango snappers, get your allaboutthebait.com Pinfish Chunks shirt, lay out your pinfish, and you've got the handy dandy diagram exactly where to cut your pinfish. So you'll make some incisions here right by the head, one through the middle of the body there, one through the half shoulder there, and one more right at the tail. Boom, you've got the perfect mangrove snapper pinfish chunk. So you saw the front of the shirt with the pinfish chunks template, help you cut them up. What's on the back? Let you check it out. Boom. That's why I'm calling it the meat hunter shirt. But let's see what does it better. How about that? Boom. <laughs> All right, the setup we're using for our pinfish chunks. Uh, I knew that I'm going to do some heavy duty pulling, some decent uh, mangroves, and right at the uh, mangrove root, so I needed something heavy. So I'm using the uh, Esky 15-20 uh, 20, pound. I'd say it's like a medium heavy. Definitely got the backbone to it. I've got the Cabo 50, so it's got, I don't know, 40 pounds of drag. I don't have it max locked down, but it's locked pretty solid, so it, they really have to... Uh, do some heavy yanking to get any drag out of it. Uh, the braided line I think is 30. I bought this reel and that line is on it. I've been meaning to swap it out. I've got some 30 pound uh, Power Pro to throw on it. I just haven't. It, whatever line it is, I like it. So I'm just keep using it. I don't know what it is. I, I'm guessing 30 pound. Then I've got a uh, 30 pound uh, mono leader. Uh, then I'm going to a knocker rig with a one ounce egg sinker just right to the hook and a 5 aught circle hook. Um, for these mangroves, and I'm using a little bit bigger size chunks, about a half a pinfish, I would probably normally go up to like a 7 aught because you can see the size of these and 7 aught hook is not that bad using bigger baits. But this 5 aught is working fine and that's our rig. So all I'm doing is I'm just cutting those pinfish in half. running the uh, five out circle hook through just the corner. So leaving a lot of hook exposed and just chunking it over, giving it maybe a foot of slack like that, leaving the bail open so they could run with it. And I just have to balance between letting them run far enough to get the, the bait down their gullet so the circle hook would work, but not far enough that they get underneath the mangroves and tie me up. So a little bit of a balance act you gotta kind of figure out. Uh, the way I'm working it is, is that I'm drifting these uh, deep cut sides of these keys and uh, 
usually they like I said there's three sides will have flats around it but one side that has the current will have a deep undercut along these and that's this side here um, I'm either drifting or what I've got is the uh, anchor shortened up so I could drop it and stop really quickly getting on these pockets and then just flicking these uh, mangrove chunks up close to but not right at the edge there is oh shoot oh I like that except I missed them the um I missed the hook uh, the challenge like I said is you don't want to get it so close that they could do that and get right to those mangroves but you don't want it too far out that they won't come and get it so I've got about a yard away I've got a little bit of slack in the line I've got uh, the bell open and then I'm just gonna wait for them to pick it up and start running with it and give them a, give them time to take it down you can see it's running it's walking it there we go and then I just gotta get them out of there and not give them any time to get you underneath those mangroves bam that's how we do it with the pinfish chunks all right something's taking it it's taking it taking it taking it oh it's taking it underneath me and going way over here oh whatever that is Uh, I think we had a shark. Oh, we still got them. I guess we'll go follow them. Oh, don't get me in those trees. you turn why won't you turn why won't you turn we have to turn oh you're not underneath those branches are you Oh, I just got to get off of this one branch and we'll be good. Oh, we got it. Oh, it jumped, whatever that is. Man, it was a smart one, but... Whew. Almost got down to the spool. Oh! And broke it right there. So the tides changed, so I'm switching over to uh, Bobber, the live pinfish, out in the channel here gonna see if there's any uh, juvenile tarpon sitting around here I'm not seeing anything and plus we just had that cold front so I'm not figuring on much usually I'll see those little guys uh, roll and it's just a good time when the water levels drop they come into this channel but we'll play around here a little bit before I head in I don't want to stay out here too long oh I think there's a tarpon rolling on it yep there's a tarpon rolling on it I saw it flashing. Come on, get it. That pinfish was just uh, avoiding it. Oh, it's got a... I think there's a little school of them over there. 
Uh, I had a little bit of weeds on it. That would do it. Let's see if they'll come and get it this pass. Took the weeds off. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Take it. There it goes. There it is. Oh, it jumped off. It jumped off. Oh, Lordy. All right, we've upped it to a seven knot circle. Hopefully that didn't spook them. But I think there's a bunch of juveniles in here. So we should be all right. I should up the leader as well. I've only got that 30 pound, but we got spooked. Oh, baba. Oh. They went chasing it. Oh, there it goes. Oh, I couldn't close the bail right. Oh, maybe it's still on. Nope. Oh, I couldn't close the bail. It was running too fast. I think the bait is gone. Maybe. Let's see, just in case it come back for it. I don't know why I tried to close the bail. I'll just let them take it. Jeez. And it got swirled on. And something's taking it. Uh, what are you? Uh, you're not jumping. Now you're all heavy. And you're just plodding along kind of like a shark, but you never know. You didn't cut me off yet. Stay away from the anchor. I don't see silver. Oh, Jack. No wonder you didn't cut me off. Big Jack. Alright. Whoa. Man, these jacks are big. Ugh. Oh, you're going to break it off, aren't you? Calling all sharks, calling all sharks. Stop, stop spitting. Watch that circle hook. Watch that circle hook. Bam. Yeah. You're not small. And we'll throw a weight on you. Or a length on you. You are 28 inches. Not bad. Lovely, lovely pinfish eater. Don't splash me. Go, go, go. There you go. Okay, we used up our dozen pinfish, so I think we're good to go. Kind of want to get back before the uh, flats get too low. Uh, I got my full cooler of big chunker mangrove snappers using the pinfish chunks. Uh, if you like the shirt, don't forget to order one at www.allaboutthebait.com. Featuring the pinfish chunk and the meat hunter on the back. <laughs> uh, regular price is $35. Normal sale price I'll run at $30. But since we're just introducing the shirt, we're going to run it at $25. Get them all they last. These shirts always go super fast. Uh, I do have the um, Bloody Tuna 
and the uh, yellow tail jig shirt on order. I haven't got a confirmed date. We're doing some other changes and some other shirts. So once I get that, I'll let you guys know. But otherwise, thanks for watching and don't forget your pinfish chunks. Bye.